Hey everybody, welcome back to EM378SI Online. You know the drill. Uh, my WebEx plug, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 665, Iowa time. If you got questions, if you want to see more examples, uh, talk about more fluid mechanics, uh, that's where to go. Um, Alright, let's get into this problem. So we're starting uh, doing viscous flow in pipes, which involves laminar and turbulent flow, as I'm sure you guys have got so far. Uh, remember, if the Reynolds number is less than 2100, that's laminar. And if the Reynolds number is greater than 4000, that's turbulent. All right. You're going to see that over and over again. Um, probably won't ever forget it. So, all right. So what we're looking for, we have water flowing at a rate of 10 gallons per minute in a new horizontal 0 0.75 inch diameter galvanized iron pipe. Determine the pressure gradient or change in pressure per unit length along the pipe. All righty. So what we're looking at is we want to... In a horizontal pipe, change in pressure is the friction ratio of L over D, one half rho V squared, right? And so we know the diameter, right? The length is going to stay a variable because we're going to solve for that. Um, the friction we're going to have to determine based on whether or not it's laminar or turbulent flow. Density, uh, we know it's water, so we can figure that. And then we'll need velocity. So we can get velocity because we also know the area from this flow rate. Um, again, we're working with our continuity equation. So Q equals V times A. Or since we're solving for our V, it's Q over A. So our flow rate is given in gallons per minute. So we'll convert that from gallons per minute into feet per second, which is, or convert gallons per minute to feet cubed per second, sorry. Uh, that way we can get a unit that we're able to work with. So gallons per minute, one minute for every 60 seconds, 231 inches cubed per gallon. Uh, don't worry about knowing that off the top of your head. Um, that's something that would be given to you on an exam. Just like you have... Well, this one wouldn't be given to you on an exam. Uh, foot cubed per 1728 inches cubed. But that's just 12 cubed. Um, I figure you'll be able to do that on your own. So this gives you 0 0.0223 feet cubed per second, right? Minutes cancel out. Inches cancel out, gallons cancel out, and you're left with feet cubed per second. So, uh, and then we know area, right, from, because we know it's a pipe, so it's going to be circular. And so we get V equals 0 0.0223 over pi over 4 times 0 0.75 over 12 squared. We divide by 12 because we need this diameter in feet. 7.26 feet per second. So that's the velocity that we can use. And we'll go ahead and solve this equation for what we're actually looking for. So delta P over L is equal to that friction times the density of water, which is, um, oh, give me one second. 1.94 um, slugs per foot cubed multiplied by our velocity squared, which is 7.26 squared, divided by 2 times our diameter, 0 0.75, again over 12 because we want that in feet. So the last thing that we need is this, um, this F here. And there are two ways to find F. Um, Let's see, two ways, put 
this is a note down here, to find f. For laminar, laminar is easy because it that's just f equals 64 over your Reynolds number, which is nice. But for turbulent, from Moody chart. where you'll have a function of your Reynolds number and then the relative roughness epsilon over D. And epsilon is based off of the um, type of pipe you have. So in this case, we have galvanized iron. But what you want to do, but if, to find this F, you need to figure out whether or not you're in laminar or turbulent first. And to do that, um, your Reynolds number, uh, one form of it is just VD over nu. Your V, 7.26, D, 0 0.75, 12, and your nu, 1.21 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that's 3.76 times 10 to the fourth, which is greater than 4,000, right? So that we have turbulent flow. And so you'll look at your Moody chart, which again, if you're not familiar with that just yet, you have this chart, Reynolds number over here, epsilon over D, friction. Then you have a bunch of lines that just kind of do this. And what you'll do is look at your, what line you're supposed to look at and then you find the function of Reynolds number, epsilon over D, trace over, and then you get your F, right? So this is Moody. Alrighty. So uh, for galvanized iron, your epsilon over D is 0 0.0005 for 0 0.75 divided by 12 is these uh, relative roughness values will be given to you on an exam. So you might remember a few of them, but you won't be tested on remembering them on an exam. All right, so we have our epsilon over D and we have our Reynolds number. And so we're going to then find an F from Moody chart. And what do we get? We get F equals 0 0.037. So plug that F in back up here. We get delta P L is equal to 0 0.211 PSI per foot. Um, so if you plug this number in here and then you do the multiplication, you'll have it in... Um, you won't have it in PSI, right? Because you're working in feet up here. You'll have pound pounds per foot squared per foot. Um, but then you do a conversion to PSI per foot. Uh, one thing that would be tempting in this problem, or one thing you might do, is write this as not have this in pounds per inches squared, but have this in like pounds per foot cubed or something like that. But remember, this is a ratio of two different. Um, two different uh, properties in your pipe, uh, the pressure in the pipe and the length of the pipe. So you want to keep these units separate. Um, PSI is a typical um, pressure unit. Phi is your typical length unit. So we keep it in PSI per foot. Alrighty. So that's that problem. Uh, remember, WebEx meetings. Um, I guess we're going to have questions probably going into the rest of the semester. Um, so, and also, um, just a reminder, next exam is 421. So that is about two, that's, a, that's not next week, but it's the week after that. So not don't start studying now, but just keep that in mind going forward so it doesn't surprise you. All right. Well, let me know if you guys have any questions. Feel free to...
comment below. Uh, let me know uh, if this is helpful, if it's not helpful. Um, yeah, any feedback that you have is greatly appreciated. All right, guys, uh, have a good one.